what's up guys Tyler here with secure team I uh, got some uh, very interesting imagery of our Sun to look over and it, something just doesn't seem right with it so we have these new images that oddly enough uh, were spoken about separately by two separate UFO researchers with regards to uh, one of the famous square pixels that NASA is fond of using uh, when they want to block something out that is around our sun and they can do that perfectly under the guise of a simple glitch well let me tell you nothing is ever simple with these people I don't trust them and this is why because we have two separate images of the sun here taken a day apart showing what looks like a glitch uh, in the middle of the sun here from the EIT instrument on the SOHO spacecraft which stands for extreme ultraviolet imaging telescope and so we have this image here here's the first one showing this pixel on the sun perfectly normal under the circumstances however then we have another shot of the sun taken with a different camera in a different wavelength showing the exact same quote pixel in the exact same spot on the Sun which proves that this is not some image artifact or pixelation caused by a natural occurrence such as a Sun flare or something like that these are two separate cameras and on these two separate cameras taken a day apart we have the same exact pixel that would seem to have been placed there to cover up something that is in front of the Sun here and obviously I don't have to tell you guys I've mentioned it plenty of times we have documented craft objects UFOs and structures around our Sun countless times countless and I've gone as far as to even document on this channel as I did in a recent video the catching of NASA in the act of covering up some of these objects that are around the Sun using these square pixels we busted them back in 2014 when they didn't cover up something fast enough and sure enough the next day we had one of these beautiful square pixels blocking out a triangular object that was there just hours before uh, and so again I don't trust them neither should you what are they covering up you don't get the same imaging artifact in two different cameras two different wavelengths it doesn't happen it, not to mention in the exact same spot on the Sun and as I said this was taken uh, about a day apart and the pixel moves slightly it does move very slightly as you would think it would if there was an object there that was slightly moving around the Sun and so on a separate camera they had to cover the object up with the same pixel which is also moved with whatever object they were trying to hide here uh, so it's very very suspicious and I want to give a shout out to Scott Waring who was instrumental in putting these puzzle pieces together as well as the UFO researchers who posted the separate videos on these images before they were actually linked together and we found out that something wasn't right and that this in reality could not have been a simple glitch so what are they hiding and since we're on the topic of space and we've actually got some other UFO sightings and some things to talk about but while we're on the topic of space and satellites and probes and cameras um, we have some other very mysterious imagery to show you guys today and another interesting development that ties directly in to this object and this pixel on this same day I had a separate source email me who who didn't even know about this uh, pixel here who sent me another image oddly enough and coincidentally from the same day that this pixel appeared and here is that image here it's actually uh, zoomed in a little bit on the left side of the Sun see the date at the bottom by the way I'll post the links to these down in the video description and so the viewer pointed out to me uh, a very clear triangular shaped object hovering or at least captured near the edge of the Sun where the source who emailed it to me circled the objects now I'm sure you can see them from here but let's go ahead and zoom in and here we have it uh, we have a clear clear sharp edged triangular object as well as a, a separate object off here to the upper right 
And as I said, a, a lot of coincidences happening on this date. Uh, first, we had the coincidence of the same pixel appearing on two separate cameras and in virtually the identical spot on the sun. And now we have another image sent in by a separate viewer, once again on the same date, showing these objects sitting near the sun, one of them obviously a triangular shape, and as I like to say, it's massive. So, could it all be a coincidence? I don't think it is. I hell no, no, I don't hell no, I do not think it is. And that's what NASA would want you to think. That it was just a coincidence. Because they think you're stupid. And that they can get away with uh, placing a pixel over an image on two separate cameras. And then let stuff like this uh, black triangular object slip by us. But uh, as history has shown, nothing slips by my eagle-eyed viewers. So uh, let me know what you think about that. Now on to some other space imagery. Very, very mysterious. Our favorite ISS footage uh, that hopefully will not be going down. Hopefully NASA will change their mind. But it's supposed to be going down at the beginning of September. And I was just emailed some very anomalous footage of two objects appearing over the horizon line of the Earth. And uh, this was actually a screen grab by the viewer. So you're seeing the viewer's mouse here in the image. He's pointing out where the objects are. And um, you just, you see them appear, and then they're gone. Two objects. It does not look like a lens flare at all to me. You tend to get many of them. They will sit. They will take their time before disappearing. And as you can see here, we have two solid, what look like solid circular objects uh, on the edge of the Earth. And uh, as I'm looking at it, it almost looks like they are going behind. Uh, the Earth's horizon line. So I'm not sure if they are disappearing or they are simply going around the edge and out of sight of the camera. But one thing we do know, and I'll go ahead and zoom in here, is that these look like objects to me. And you know what these two little objects remind me of? We've seen these things before. We've seen them during uh, the Gemini missions. For instance, here's one image here where we have two more of these circular objects in space um, We've seen these double objects so many times. And here we have two uh, sort of red glowing objects. At least they're reflecting a red color. Uh, but once again, over the Earth's horizon, taken during the Gemini mission. Another Gemini mission photograph where we once again have another set of objects which um, look very similar to what we're seeing on the edge of the Earth here. Um, they were seen in the background behind the spacecraft here. And there they are, just kind of sitting in the distance, um, as we are seeing in this new footage. And, um, yeah, it, it, this is a new finding. This is a, a new UFO type, if you will, that we really haven't seen before on the ISS space station footage. We see saucers, we see orbs, at some points we've seen triangular craft, but uh, we've never actually captured a pair of objects like this. So, wonderful job to the source who sent this in. Uh, lastly, on the space footage front, I want to show you an image here that was tweeted to me by a viewer um, the other day. And here's the image here. It's of the moon. And he was showing me a, a very suspicious crater and an object inside of a crater uh, that was in a recent issue of Astro Magazine. And... As the viewer said on Twitter, and I agree, he said that this looks too circular and flush to be a natural crater, uh, especially when you compare it to the surrounding craters, and uh, this thing looks like a saucer. And again, compare it to the other craters. Uh, this thing looks like a large saucer sitting on the surface of the moon or, or is simply high up above it. And you can see it has your typical saucer shape. It has an outer ring. It has an inner ring. And so whether this is a crater with a saucer-shaped object sitting in it or a saucer itself, I don't know. But again, um, it does not blend in with the other craters. So I would not doubt it for a second if this was artificial. Uh, we have found so many artificial objects on the moon and heard so much testimony from astronauts who've been there to the photo editors working for NASA who were told to blur these structures and objects out. So much testimony. I mean, it's a done deal. When it comes to the moon 
and the structures on it, you will not convince me otherwise. It, you, you might as well be beating a dead horse. There are structures and ruins and UFOs flying up on the moon. They were there when we visited. They're there now. We have telescopic imagery showing it. We have NASA footage showing it. We have astronauts confirming it. And of course, we have the imagery. Uh, so, let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, now on to some UFO sightings, uh, a few interesting pieces of footage here. Uh, the first of which is uh, this video you're seeing here, emailed to me by a viewer who was on his way to work and once again we have another array, uh, another formation of these lights in the sky. Uh, down below know. we have sort of a triangular formation there and um, we've been seeing a lot of these sightings lately all over oh the world, my, yo. Almost, almost like an invasion yo, of these like lights. I mean they're being right seen there. so much. I, I mean, probably half of the UFO footage I get are of these strange formations of these lights that will just sit in the sky, they will move, they will disappear, they will they will move into formation. They will change formations. It's, it's just very mysterious. I, I'd like to know what's going on. Uh, now, another piece of footage taken over the UK uh, of another strange object moving steadily through the sky. Um, I don't know what this thing is. Uh, it looks like a very large object. The source said it was a large object. I'll try to zoom in here and get a better image. Uh, it is far away though, but it definitely has a structure to it. Yeah, what's that look like to you guys? Now, on to our last piece of footage. This is very interesting where we have a source who captured something that looks like a plane, but is not a plane. Something that looks to be mimicking a plane. So check this out, and we'll talk a little bit more about this in just a minute. All right, so I was emailed this. The source said, uh, well, and as you just saw, he, he said that at first he thought it was a plane, but the object was very shiny, sort of glowing, and he wasn't able to make out any real detail of it. He could not see any windows, any designs, any engines. I have seen these types of videos from many people showing what I call fake planes, and by fake plane, as I explained to him, I mean something that has been captured in our skies by numerous sources that looks to be mimicking planes, but is not itself a plane. And as you saw at the end of the video, we see an actual airliner, a, a real definite plane pass by. And it gives you a perfect side-by-side -side comparison as to what a real plane looks like and one of these mimics, as I like to call them. And these fake plane videos, you'll see a bunch of them all over YouTube. And there's a lot of theories about what they could be. A lot have said that these are visitors. There's been a lot of talk that there are unknown craft that are able to shapeshift and have been caught on video shapeshifting, uh, morphing into objects that are shaped like conventional aircraft. But you will not see lights on them. You will not see windows. You will see pretty much what you just saw here, which is the basic outline of a plane, but there's no definition. And it just looks like a glowing outline, a roughly done conjuring of what a plane would look like. Um, it's also been speculated that this is part of a Project Bluebeam. This is a hologram. Um, hologram planes flying in our skies 
and others have said that these are drones, that there are drones up there that are being made to look like airliners. Uh, but again, this doesn't look like a drone to me because, again, it's very strange how you don't get any definition from this object. And that's what makes me lean towards these shape-shifting objects that, again, many people have seen, many people have captured on video of these things <laughs> that mimic planes. But when you get a shot of them up close, especially next to an actual jet like we did here, you'll see that there is no definition. It's simply an outline. It's simply the basic shape of a plane meant to fool those who are actually far away and wouldn't need to make out any detail. But again, as you've seen, once you try to get an up-close shot, you'll see that it is only taking the shape of a plane, but you will see no engines, you will see no markings, you will see no windows, you'll see nothing, you'll see no defined characteristics. Uh, and it, it was just a coincidence, and thankfully, we were able to see this second actual plane pass by. So very, very mysterious. The source definitely mystified, so big thanks to him for sending it in. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think about all the footage we've shown you today. The uh, shenanigans that NASA continues to get into, um, trying to pull the wool over our eyes. Uh, the ISS footage of the two objects... Uh, as well as the continued rise in UFO sightings, the lights, the objects, the bizarre sounds that are being heard all over the world coming from the sky. Um, are we on the precipice of something? Um, I don't know. If we are, it seems to be happening slowly and steadily, and uh, we will continue to document it. So, again, thanks for watching. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe on your way out. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and stay tuned because I've got a lot more coming. Thank you.